Boom. Hello and welcome to the Executive Protection Lifestyle Podcast Season 5. Never forget that to the best of us, protection's more than just a job. It really is a lifestyle. Enjoy. Boom. What's going on, you guys? What you're about to watch next is uh, an interview with me and Michael, one of our uh, one of the guys that came through the Executive Protection Training Day Success Package, right? And what differentiates the success package is not just the fact that we're going to train you on the, the 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 art of executive protection, but we're going to help you with career success. The trifecta is what I talk about, right? So we're going to train you on how to do the job. We're going to train you on how to have career success, not just how to be an executive protection agent, but then you're going to get access to a network of students who are also in the game all over the industry, winning at the highest levels in the game. And then third, you get mentoring from me or one of our coaches every single month, two meetings per month, and we continue learning and helping you. Hey, I'm having problems with my resume. Hey, I'm having problems with this. Hey, I've done a few interviews and I haven't heard back from anyone. And we continue teaching you. And so pay attention to this conversation. I want to take you through the life cycle of his experience experience uh, so far with Training Day and how he was able to achieve success and work by balance and all these things that were his dream just months before he started training with us at the League of Executive Protection Specialists. We specialize in one, being the golden standard in the industry and two, helping people achieve their dreams in the executive protection industry. Enjoy this conversation. Boom. What was it like for you, man, going through this course and which course did you start with and then what happened to you? Okay, well, um, again, Byron, thank you so much for having me on here. Super honored. Um, but I started off with really, if you really want to know, I started off with your YouTube videos. Heck yeah. Um, so, so just to give context, I um, initially started with the training day program. But before that, um, I was working normal security, um, like a static post and stuff. And, and that started off with your YouTube videos, like the... I think you call them the field notes. Yeah, bro. Uh, and so I was like, dude, this guy, I don't know who he is or like what he's about, but this is free. Yeah. And so I started like, you know, being a student that way by just watching. And then you post, you would post like a field notes, like, you know, uh, montage. It was like a huge video of like everything. Yeah, a batch. Yeah. It was, I think it's like an hour long or something. <laughs> yep. Um, and I literally like saved it, studied it. And then, and then, um, I was like, I need to take the leap and yep. just see if I can do this thing. And so I looked at your website and then, um, saw the training day and that's what I started with first. Yeah. Yeah. I had Gambit on that. And that's awesome. I think one of the things I had a guy like popping off online and I try to stay out of comments. Like I got, I got three businesses to run. You know what I mean? But I saw this dude that was yeah. in there and he was saying stuff like, uh, what was, it was like, you're always selling. All you do is sell. And I'm like, and I was like, Hmm. And you know, like I'm, I try to be a humble guy. So like, if someone says something to me, I'm not like upset about them being mean, I'm listening for truth. So I'm like, Hmm, let me go look. I guess. I mean, I do. I, I use my platform to to sell things that I believe will genuinely, that I know, actually, I'm a past belief now, that I know will genuinely help people. So then I started being like, well, let's look at my content. And I got over 2,000, I got almost, I got over 2,000 videos that are out there, like on multiple platforms and all free, mostly all just giving away, like just trying to help people. And I'm like, dude, no, but it did give me some perspective on what, you know, a decade of trying to contribute to people's yeah. lives kind of starts to uh, accumulate to. It was pretty, actually it turned out being a blessing that he said that. Cause I was like, it just kind of helped me feel like, no, bro, no, <laughs> you know, like no, we've created yeah. in this podcast, we've created the largest real world library of free content for the industry yep. of anything ever anywhere yes and that's how i found you i i i know you know like i just typed in um like close protection slash yeah. like executive protection and then it was like your videos boom 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 yeah. and i'm like this this dude's everywhere so like who is this guy you know yeah it's like, come on in, brother. Come on in. And then you hang around the barbershop long enough, you're going to get a haircut. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, that's good, man. So you started with the free, with the free videos, which is an education mm -hmm. of itself, where we were on yep. season five of this podcast. Um, and then you took the leap into uh, EP, into training day. 
And yeah. uh, mm-hmm. what was that like for you? And and what you know, what was that product like for you? And then we'll get into the fruit of that experience. Sure. Um, so I mean, I I had the basic security like experience, you know, I had my permits, the exposed, so I like shot a little bit, you know, I went to the gym, I was doing jujitsu. Um, but when I got into the training day, it was like it was like, wow, what, like, hey, this is it. This is, this this is, is what exactly. it was supposed to be. Like, <laughs> Yes. Um, you know, for those who don't know uh, what it is, it's, it's an online training platform that Byron has, and it has different modules. And so through that, it goes in depth yeah. into yeah. detail. I mean, extreme detail of um, things on every day. Um, it was absolutely amazing. It was a wealth of knowledge. And, um, you know, something about you, Byron, I don't know, like in school, like in high school, I, I wasn't like really the best learner whatsoever. I mean, especially like a classroom setting. Yeah. But you, how you explain it on there, um, you really balance like, I don't know, tactfulness and it's like a PowerPoint. So you had visual aids in there and it really helped to really bring everything together. Um, yeah. And then how you explained it was like, it just was easy for me to pick up and learn. Good, man, because I'm the same way, bro. Like <laughs> school was hell, man. I went to yeah. the Supreme Court and get away from school. I was like, I can't, I can't do it. <laughs> I was like, college or go to war. Join the Marine mm-hmm. Corps, join the Marine Corps during a time of war. And I was like, I'm going to war. I just I'm going to war, man. <laughs> you know, that was just me. But so I think, I think coming from that, and really what the court the product was born out of, it was born out of me being like, Yo, I get dudes on these details that maybe they have a great background. Maybe they have no background. Maybe they, you know, were on other details, you know, but when they get on a detail and teaching them all these like customs and courtesies and strategies and tactics and rules of survival and execution. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, dude, if I just, if I just make this into a video training, uh, like if I just make this into an actual training, a lot of guys would succeed because I have a lot of cheat codes. I just grew up in the industry, just doing executive protection since I was 21. It's the only job I've ever had. So yeah. this was the conversation I would be having with new guys when they get into the into the vehicle. You know, it's 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 interesting how many people told me it wouldn't be fruitful and that it, you can't teach someone these things. And I was like, 90% yeah. of what I'm doing with guys is, is educating them when they get to me a lot of times. Boom, if you've been enjoying the podcast, I want to encourage you to come and train with me. Train with us, the League of Executive Protection Specialists. We offer online courses so you can train and learn how to take your executive protection career to the next level from the comfort of your own home. Uh, We offer on-ground training on everything from the hard skills of driving, shooting, medical, um, and into the soft skills through the Executive Protection Immersion Course, which is one of the most experiential, learning-centric courses in the executive protection industry. Either way, I want you to become part of the golden standard in the private security industry and join the brotherhood, the League of Executive Protection Specialists. Go to epspecialist.com and let's do our careers together. I'll see you there. Out. So that's awesome. And then, so then what was the fruit, man? What was the result? I mean, the result... So it's, it was great. I felt, I felt prepared. I yeah. felt at least that I had something to offer as a new person coming in. Um, you know, for those who may not know, like security is like such a broad spectrum from, um, you know, low level to now the high level. Mm-hmm. And sometimes people can get lost in between or not know how to navigate their own journey or themselves as a, you know, a person uh, wanting to get more work. Um, so it, it helps, but it was great. I mean, I jumped in and I'm telling you, when I say I jumped in, I literally went, so I made a LinkedIn and then I started like searching. I went on this, the executive protection lifestyle Facebook page it was like stalking all the, you know, posts. Yeah, and yeah. These, there you these, go. There's like employers on there too, who like look for people. So mm-hmm. I was like writing notes, who's, who's um, in my area um, and all that stuff. And um, I ended up finding someone who needed uh, a couple uh, agents and they were looking to fill spots. And I was like, you know what? 
I just told my wife, I'm just going to give it a shot. And I ended up messaging them. And literally the same day, like I had everything ready. So it's, I was also prepared in terms of um, like my, my paper, like the permits, right? Like all that stuff. You should already have that, right? And otherwise, why, why are you searching if you don't, if you're not prepared? Right. Um, I had everything in line resume, um, my social media platforms, because they did ask for that also, um, work experience. And so I had everything I needed to start. And so once I, you know, they gave me like a green light, boom, send it. I literally sent everything. And then the same day, at the end of the day, I was getting the orient orientation call, the setup. I want to meet you. Let's do this thing. And then within the next couple of weeks, I was on board already serving and, and, and providing uh, coverage for what they needed. So, yeah. yeah. I love this, man. I love this. And this is the point in the conversation where, you know, like a lot of guys would be like, man, you know, they get into the detail, they get into the game, they're tired. And it's like, man, it just, it just happened. Like, how did this happen or whatever? And I'm sitting here like, this was always the plan. Bro. <laughs> You've been planning this all week. I've been planning this all month. <laughs> this ain't checkers. This is chess. Yeah. You have resume. I mean, training day, that's the stuff we focus on. Resume, mm -hmm. LinkedIn, how to pimp those things out. We ain't going to give you the secret sauce in here. <laughs> how to pimp those things out. How to set those things up. So, and, and what you need so that when you do get that shot, you can come correct and you can hit that target and then you can get into the industry. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, so I'm, 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 I'm just glad for you, man. I'm happy for you. And I remember you kind of asking some questions like, should I just, but uh, right. on a calls, you know, um, because we have also, just so you guys know, twice a month, I get in there and I coach with everyone. And it's, it's sometimes, you know, to be honest, sometimes it just turns into a, like a thank you. They're like, like, like updates on how they're doing. And they're just, and they're just telling me how they're doing and they're doing great. You know, sometimes we spend a whole hour with people being like, yo, Byron, this, tell am I wrong? Like everything, I don't know, man, everything you've said, it's like, you know, one of the the guys who always comes on the or is on the podcast, his name is Vincent. If you know yeah, who that, that is, excellent. like he, I remember he had said that he literally verbatim followed exactly what you had put. Now there there comes um, character, like someone's individual character comes into play yep. um, as well. But like you literally, it's like cheat codes. I mean, I come from the I play. I used to play video games. Like this, how you navigate, bro? This is it. Where you, yeah. Yeah, and everything man. was, you know, you 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 gotta you gotta um, purchase the product and and try it for yourself. Because I, you know, on the there's free calls Byron put out on mm -hmm. email, and he was like, hey, if you have any questions, you know, jump on, and, and we're gonna answer those. Mm -hmm. um, I was really skeptical, uh, mm -hmm. like I, I was like, you know what? Because I come from a medical field background, mm -hmm. I, I was in the the process of having. Uh, you know, my wife's pregnant and then we, we're going to have a baby. And I'm like, I, I don't know. And, you know, you see the, you see the jets, you see the yachts, you see the big homes, the different estates. And I'm like, um, okay, well, I don't think this is for me because I can't travel and, and I got to be home with my family. So this is not, I was really bummed out. I'm like, dude, this is like, I want to be the Asian John Wick and, and, and you know, it's not possible. Yeah. 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 That's but so I good. I love that Asian John Wick thing. Anyways, go ahead. Send it. I, I took a leap. I took a leap. And then I learned about something. Uh, I believe Rick, he was like, Hey, there's something called RST. Do you know what that is? And mm -hmm. I, was like, I have no idea what that is. Yeah. And RST stands for like residential security team where you're kind of like based in a spot with like an HQ type deal. Mm -hmm. And like, that's what I'm in right now. Yeah. Like it just, it, I mean, by the grace of God, like mm -hmm. everything I wanted happened by following the steps that Byron told me to follow, putting myself out there and yeah, it happened. No, I love it, man. And what's your background? Okay. So I, uh, I'm a pastor mm -hmm. at my church. I, uh, I worked oddball jobs like Starbucks. Uh, like I said, I used to work in the surgery department, um, in the medical field. And then, and then I did security and then anywhere from, I worked at a casino. Uh, I worked at, um, one of my first security jobs, I was flipping a switch for an arm, yep. let it close. And, let, and, and dude, that was it. That was it. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah. And then I, I started doing like patrol and then I started um, doing some armed uh, full kit stuff. And then I got into executive protection. Love it, man. I love it. And I, yeah. I want you to talk about that because I want people to realize like if you're a good person and you want to become a professional protector, you can do it no matter what your background is. Put in the work and yep. invest in yourself. Let us show you how to market yourself so that you can attain, achieve these opportunities and get inbound opportunities. Mm -hmm. um, because that is what we do, man. And it's what we've done for awesome people. We've been so blessed that a lot of amazing people have been the ones that have joined my, my, my the courses, you know, it's like so easy. Like I show up to the first day of training and I'm like, you're awesome. You're a good person. You're a good person. And I'm just like, all I got to do is get you training. Just like follow the step. Yeah. Let me get you training. And then like, so, you know, you guys show up awesome. And then we just give you the skills to become dynamic in the work in the workplace um, and dynamic on the job, you know? So it's really cool, you know, and, and I've had a lot of civilians say, man, I never thought I could do this. And mm -hmm. you know, that was just long from the military. And I'm like, no, bro, it, it really isn't, you know, and, and there's yeah. changes to that. Yeah. And, um, you know, I've seen now that I've kind of been in mm -hmm. around and, and I'm working the job every day, mm -hmm. You know, there's this saying, I think you say like death by a thousand cuts like yeah. in the in the royal court, which is yeah. like the surrounding staff of the principal or the family. Um, and, and these are the people that uh, that you're in close quarters with these people. Right. So because they see you every day, you're, you're not like buddy, buddy with them, but you're almost like co-workers because you see them all the time. Auxiliary um, <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Or, you know, and it's like. You, you it's you gotta you gotta watch your p's and q's you gotta you gotta watch yourself and i've seen people get not cut but i you know yeah <laughs> like get out of there uh, because they don't they, it's just like the social dynamics they're not they're not paying attention mm -hmm. uh, and they get caught up not with the principal but they get caught up with staff or they get caught up with the royal court and then they're like where did that come from well it's because you weren't paying attention Yep. One of the yep. most important modules that I hear again and again and again, and I actually do some public speaking on this topic because it's done so much for so many of the about 500 agents that have come through our school is the social dynamics module. Yeah. Social dynamics of executive protection. That's what's going to make you your money and help you keep making money. So it's funny you mentioned that, man. That is the that is a real huge key to success in this game. Um, and it's so beautiful to hear you speak back the, the principle-based <laughs> tactics on social dynamics, man. Yeah. So good. I love it. it. And it's true because, you know, in my experience, um, I've come to like be cordial with these people. Mm -hmm. Um, but I also have to remember on a day-to-day -day basis, we all have a job to do and we're all like respectively doing our jobs. Right. Mm -hmm. But, um, we're, we're serving and making someone's life easier. Right. And by protecting or say house staff, right. They're, they're keeping things in order. And if you maybe, you know, piss off the wrong people, they might fire you. They like, might that's <laughs> yeah. but, like that's real you know and, and i'm like true. you know just make sure everything's good make sure i'm good you know yeah yeah so no man that's beautiful stuff so and then the last question of course because i understand people's skepticism um I respect it and, and and also like their trust. One of the reasons I stay on and coach with everyone is because I want to know that I did everything I could to help everyone succeed. Um, you know, but uh did you make your money back? Dude. <laughs> okay. <laughs> look, I, I try to be humble as well. And yeah. look, being on I'm just being honest, right? Being a pastor and you know, I'm not I'm not I don't flaunt money, nothing. That's but how I look at it is what through you, the opportunity that God gave me to provide for my family. Let's see. I'm just going to say right now, for anyone who's skeptical, if you if you do everything you need to do, you square yourself away. Um, you listen to this guy. You listen to me. Um, based off my testimony, I'm not kidding. I I, I was able to pay it back in like a week. <laughs> yeah absolutely mm -hmm. yeah uh, and if you really if you want me to be honest i only work three days a week or four days a week and that's, 
Yep, three on, three off, three on, four on, three on. Yeah. Yeah. This is the flow, man. Like we can get guys making six figures in this industry. Um, you know, you add chasing the pager to that. Like if you're a single dude, you add like, okay, cool. Like my base income three days a week but or four days mm-hmm. a week this detail. The rest of the time I'll chase pager, uh, meaning I'll get on with multiple security contract companies and just do their pop-up work as it comes up. Mm-hmm. You're fine. You can actually make a pretty. You can make a great living. You'll you'll have yeah. six figures. You'll be mid six figures, and 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 or you get two full time details. If you're a single dude, you're just trying to hammer and set yourself up to take on a family. The, the, there's a lot you can do, especially now when security is in demand, yeah. uh, and people are going to college and going into hundreds of thousands of dollars of debt to come out and make like 50, 60, 70, 80 k, bro. I when I was getting my master's in psychology, and they're like. Look online at jobs and see how much you can make with a master's degree. Yeah. I was I was I was sad <laughs> for all the other people. I was like, man, I've been, you know, and I'm not bragging. I just need you guys to understand. I need to paint a picture. I was like, I've been making six figures since I was 21 doing protection work, you know, off my Marine Corps background. And mm-hmm. and and these guys are, are are wanting us to get excited about what I can make with this psychology degree. And it's just not that exciting. I was like, Man, if I can help other good people get into this industry and do this and make the industry better, because we have people that care about excellence and we have people that, you know, like like invest in themselves. Because you because yeah. you're you're seeing it now, and we're getting we're getting carried away. You're seeing it now that you're in the game. There's different types of agents. There's those ones that really care, and take it seriously, and try to live that life outside of uh, the work that makes it so they will be effective at their job. And then there's the other ones that just phone it in and like, I got a cool job. I'm going to sit here with my big gulp on YouTube. And then, yep. Yeah. And hopefully nothing happens, you know? Yeah. So that's what and I just want to thank you, you know, for, uh, just having this platform. If it wasn't for this, I mean, I would have never found you. Uh, I would have never taken the steps. And also, um, I, on the first call, you and a couple other guys, I just felt really supported. Seriously. Yeah. I was like, man, this is not for me. I'm a new dad. And then you, you said something super profound. You were like, look, keep your wife in the loop because you know, it's going to help your relationship. It's gonna, it's just, she's, she's a support to me. Right. And without a supportive wife, I wouldn't be able to go. And I, and she's really been now there's been times where I, I don't come home maybe for one, two, three days. Mm-hmm. and before that was like never <laughs> never 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 now i i tell her you know as much as i can mm-hmm. um you know what's going on what i'm going to do how long i'm going to be gone yeah and and it's built trust mm-hmm. it's been able to give me opportunities mm-hmm. um i have been able to like uh would you would you say like chase the pager a little bit yeah. as well yeah. um and i haven't done it too much but i've done it a little bit and is that out. on its own as a cool experience as a new agent um, yep. and it helps you really build networking and that is where i really found how you represent yourself and your brand matter and then the work ethic as well as a follow-through as a follow-up is just super important and then from there um people hit you up from different companies that you may not even know about and then even in like different states and that's, you know, um, and I'm like, okay, well, how do you do that? And that's a whole nother process, right. To, to have certification in another state, but, um, it's just, when and man, God I don't know. You man. made, you made it easy, dude. I don't know. It's just crazy. <laughs> no, thank you, man. God is good, man. God is good, dude. We're taking over the game. I mean, we're contributing to the game and, and it's an honor, you know, and you're dropping a lot of wisdom and it just gives people another, like validates the things that I'm always trying to tell folks about what we can do, you know? Yeah. Um, so that's super amazing. I, I love you. I'm proud of you, man. You're a pastor, you're in the game, you know, you're, you're, you're letting your light shine, you're raising your family. And what you said was also important. For a lot of guys thinking about getting into this industry and or in the industry as the man, dude, you've, you've got to lead, you've got to cast a vision. You need to put the vision in yep. front of people. This is where we're going. This is why we're sacrificing. This is what we're moving towards. This is what I'm dedicated to providing for you and why we're doing these things. And when they catch that vision, they can run with you and support you in achieving that. And that is what I've found makes a huge difference when guys are getting in here and they're going to be burning the candle at both ends and everyone, their families and them, everyone's going to have to make sacrifices. But if they have that in front of them, 
then mm-hmm. run together you know so that's super cool man um yeah. heck yeah where can people find you your linkedin all those like where can people find you first and last name all that stuff we're gonna make sure this gets in the episode the next part we'll see what happens but all right so full name where can people find you all that stuff all right so i'll make it easy yeah. Luckily, um, it's my first and last name, Michael Gampon. I have that on LinkedIn, uh, Instagram. I also have a, like a little YouTube thing going on. Oh, um, okay. Yeah, you yeah. know. Um, so yeah, my first and last name. That's it. Sweet. Um, okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. LinkedIn and YouTube. I love it. Um, and then now, getting people into the industry is easy. Okay, that's honestly the easier part. The industry is expanding right now. Yeah. Getting people to the second, the second equation is getting them on a detail they want to be on, um, getting them the work-life balance that they're going for. They might have to sacrifice that for a while. Finding the like really sculpting deliberately your life with regards to this game is the more difficult part. Getting to a client that aligns with your values. You might have to, I mean, I had to work clients that I just didn't align with values, but I needed to make the money. And so I did that for a while and I, I learned mm-hmm. to move through the industry. That's the second equation. Um, so what do you want now as you look at your career and move forward? Well, I, I really love the team I'm a part of. I really have learned to just grow and listen and um, take feedback as well. Um, but I would like more experience. I mean, in different, the different aspects of executive protection. Um, I, of course I'm trying to, I feel like I'm, I need to balance because I have a family now. And so what are the risks versus reward? Um, what's what's worth taking? Um, you know, because I, I, I know there's things where like I want to do cool stuff and go to like Europe or something. But yeah. like, yeah, I mean, I guess it must be a family trip then, you know, something like that. You, but, sometimes you can. I've, I've done that with my wife. Client flies us out to, I'm working, you know, Greece. And once a client leaves, I just have the wife come out you know, on that last day after the client's gone, the wife's, you know, lands and then we spend a week in Greece, you know. We've done well, that. you know what? You gave me some ideas, man. Now I got to tell my wife. Yeah. But yeah, but yeah um, I would actually love to help people, um, you know, do the same thing. I've had a couple of people ask me as well, how did you do it? And you're not, the first question they always ask me is like, oh, so you like must be a military guy and you're, or, or I think you're, a, you look like you're a like law enforcement cop or something yeah no no and i'll I'll tell you how and i literally give them the links to like here's byron but then sometimes they don't follow up and i'm like okay well maybe they don't want to do it or they just Uh, that's not for them you know they're they're not serious a lot of people that's the difference in people it's emotional intelligence man that's managing faith and fear and taking action you buy that frequency of faith and what could happen and could be and what you're willing to try to create and and man i've seen better men than me not go as far as me because they just weren't willing to go you know we have a cheek mm-hmm. have our heavenly father who we know has our back so we're kind of we we have, yep. we have a hack for that it's not on my strength that these things are being done you know <laughs> that's that's <laughs> true, right so for you the next equation is you're thinking about you know how can i kind of get out there and do more because you have the art yeah. space but mm-hmm. okay yeah. yeah, man. I mean, really, you know, my initial thing would be if you're happy with what you have, it would be start chasing the pager, man. Just keep keep kind of take chasing the pager. Now that's gonna cause you to be gone more, you know. But I think if you did it in a responsible way, you know, to where you're not neglecting things too much, what ends up happening, chasing the pager works, it's like an upward spiral. So like more employers get a like get associated with you, understand you, start to trust you. And then they give you higher quality stuff. And then Mm -hmm. like you just start getting better and better opportunities as you keep just letting your name kind of get out in the zip code that you're in. And that tends to be the way to, you know, finding these high level, getting, getting called about these high level details. And then at some point, if you ever start a business, it kind of works the same way all over again. <laughs> you know, you yeah. little batch of clients, you deliver, and then they talk about it and it keeps on kind of spiraling up. But that's kind of that, that's kind of the game is just continue working the chase the pager angle. And more people start calling you, hey man, I heard you're pretty solid, da 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 da. And it just keeps going. Yeah. 
Well, thank you, Byron. I really appreciate it, man. Just everything you're doing. I mean, like the mentorship, the, you know, um, you putting out great content all the time, even like your live videos on Instagram in the morning. I'm like, like literally I'll be starting my shift and I'm like, you know what? No one's coming in until this time. Yeah. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pop my air in. Boom. And it's like, it's just, it's just awesome. And I'm able to, I don't know. I think I was scared before of yeah. not being able to handle this type of yeah. work environment or, or my life, mm-hmm. dude. And I'm doing it. I'm literally doing it. Um, yeah. It's freaking cool, man. I mean, that means a lot, bro. That means a lot. Thanks for giving me a shout out about those lives, man. Cause I, you know, I, like I said this morning, I was like, I'm just here being vulnerable. I've been doing that since 2011. Just like, all right, I'm going to, I'm just, I feel like I'm supposed to say some stuff. I'm going to, and I'm there with you guys. Like I'm talking to myself the dang whole time, you know, so it's always good. I think that authenticity is a superpower and there's not enough of it in this world. And so I just, I, I just enjoy being the man in the ring. Like you guys, you know, you, I'll win or die by my heavenly father and you guys get to watch mm-hmm. it. You know, and hopefully I, I, I inspire some of you to step into the ring as well, you know? So that's, yeah. And then the last thing I would say too, man, is um, training, you know, like when you're ready, when it makes sense, circling back to say like uh, the hard skills intensive, you know, like, mm-hmm. like, like you, like that's a level up course. That's a, you have the highest level of driving. You have um, the attack on principal package. You have, you know, a handful of medical certs that you're going to walk away with. Um, and you have your instructor cadre who can vouch for you. I and mean, then I had a employer call me just yesterday. Hey, is this guy, how would this guy do? Did he really come through the course? You know, the hard skills intensive is a huge resume builder. Uh, yeah. our, our work and our schools being more recognized in the industry. Immersion yeah. course huge, huge resume builder. Like, can I really handle a client out there in the game? Dude, come to the immersion course. We'll make it so you do this with your eyes closed. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, and then I can say, Hey, you know, when someone called me, is Michael solid? And like, yeah, I was just out in LA with him for four days straight doing EP dude, solid. Like we had real actors, real clients, like, you know, like, like yeah, put him on a detail right now. You know, that's, that's the game man. That's what I would yeah. say. You know, one thing with your lives yeah. you, the, that you do in the morning, dude, it's like you're real, relevant, relational. And actually, that's something we say at our church. Like, that's where we're like real, relevant, relational. But, dude, you really are. And you're also, like, funny, too. Like, you're like, you do your high-pitched voice. And then, dude, it has me cracking up. I'm like, yeah. man, this is real serious, yeah. you know? And I'm like, I'm going to take this to her. I'm, like, taking notes. Yeah. And, then, and then you break that out. I'm like, dude, this it's just it's great, man. Oh, thank you, man. Yeah, man, I wish I can, I can do what you do, man. Yeah, um, you will. You'll do it in your own way, man. That's the game, <laughs> you know. Yeah, yeah else, man. No, I love it. Well, dude, it's been a blessing to speak with you, and you know, like it blesses me just as much to see you guys succeed. I get chills just, just at trying to grasp the reality of what you know. God's been able to do through this brand. And, um, mm-hmm. you know, I'll, I'll get on our calls at nighttime sometimes and I'm a wreck, dude. I'm like, all right, we're going to do another hour. Let me hit the boys up. Let me hop on the call with this. <laughs> but you guys, you charge me up, you know, cause it's the fruit of what we're doing. And by the end of the thing, I don't even want to get off the call. I go back in the room with my wife and I'm like, mm-hmm. man, it was a good, that was amazing. Yeah. The guys. Yeah. So I, you guys are a blessing to me too. So. Well, well, I'm I'm glad it goes back and forth. You know, um, it's just really, it really has been life changing. I mean, in terms of providing, I mean, and kind of giving me confidence. So thank you, Byron. Hey, it's an honor. It's an honor. And uh, this is just the beginning. You're how many, how, how, how many years, how long did it take from the time you graduated the course to the time you got working? Um, I did have a baby. So I think it was like, I think six to eight months. Yeah. Because uh, I was in between. But yeah. Um, yeah, just, you know, but then it was after that, uh, after I started getting everything in line. Yeah. I think it was about like a t- like two months, two months to get in <laughs> and like, looking yeah. and searching. And then after that, it just literally boomed from there. It just took off. Yep. Absolutely. Yep. So, yeah, man. For you listeners, get in, get it done. 
hop on the calls. You can hop on the calls from the moment you purchase the course. And I remember you a couple of times being like, what do you think about this? Should I do this? That? And I was like, just get those certs, bro. Get all that stuff, get it all mm -hmm. and start rolling. You're like, okay, okay. You know, and the next thing you know, you're like, you hit me up. There's always that moment where the person's like, dude, it, it worked. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, you know, like, yeah. And you know, the, you, you know, I didn't think I, I would have to do this, but there has been times where I had to turn down work and I was like, that's, that's never going to be me. You know, I'm just going to have like my one, my one job and I'm going to chill right there. And I'm just going to be the guy who gets the job done. Yeah. And, uh, like, literally I had to turn down work. Um, and I'm like, right off, right after a shift, I'm like, oh, this person on LinkedIn message me. And now I'm, I'm so sorry, sir. I can't accept it. I'm like, dude, like th this is real, man. It's, it's a uh, thing. Yeah, it's a thing. thing. Heck yeah. Awesome, Michael. Well, man, thank you so much for your words. Thank you so much for, you know, coming and, and, and hammering out that experience so everyone can see it and understand what we do here at the league and how we're connected. You know, if you have any other questions or anything, you know, you got my number. You can always hit me up. That's how I roll with yeah. you. Guys. And uh, it's an honor. And I'm looking forward to seeing what you'll do when you become a team leader, when you, you know, oh, keep moving up you. and you're just running things. And, and then and then other members of our school are coming in and, you know, it's, it's going to, and you're recruiting. And yeah, it's, it's already happening. We have multiple guys that are, you know, team leaders, project managers, starting their own companies in just a few years, man. It's amazing. So yeah. we're just warming up, brother. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Boom! Quick shout out to our sponsor, Staccato. My first pistol sponsor. Um, I've been sponsored by a lot of companies, right, over the years. But when it comes to pistol, that's my bread and butter. Pistol is something I believe in. You know, I'm a competitive shooter. You know, we're shooting anywhere from, you know, 800 rounds a month type of thing, right? So Staccato being what I believe is one of, if not the most complete handguns you can put in your hand. Um, it's got every component that a handgun could have, should have. Uh, they're actually extremely dependable now that they've made some changes. And these things are straight up tack drivers. If you're looking for a pistol that will do as much of the work for you as a piece of hardware can, obviously you have to have the, the, the marksmanship and all the different things, but different guns perform at different levels. And I wanna say that Staccato is one of by far, for sure, take it from a competitive shooter, we're shooting the highest volumes of rounds constantly right now, not used to have a background guy, but like right now, when you go shoot, you're gonna see certain brands. Staccato is one of, if not the highest performing firearm that is both CCW, duty ready, and also competitive ready. So I wanna give them a shout out if you guys are looking for a good handgun to build your skills on top of, go check out Staccato, much love and respect. Yo, if you're a private security professional wanting to take your game to the next level, go to executiveprotectiontrainingday.com to check out my personal success package for private security professionals. Check it out, executiveprotectiontrainingday.com. And remember, y'all, hard skills do save lives, but soft skills get you paid. Boom. Boom, and to support this podcast, go to executiveprotectionlifestyle.com and contribute to our Patreon account. That Patreon account is what helps me make this podcast possible, contributing to this brand, what we're doing here, making it so that I can bring better guests on, making it so that we can plan more events and just expand the contribution to the private security industry and also to make an America a safer place. Do whatever you can, contribute whatever you can because it makes all of these things possible. Thanks for those contributions.